Well, hello, y'all. Been busy. Been busy trying to get a garden out in between the rains. We've got another rain coming tomorrow night. Sunday morning, somewhere in there. Dry, for, I think, for Sunday and Sunday night, and it starts back in Monday night, and there's a good chance of rain all next week. But it's going to be warm. I can try and get stuff out in the garden. Got my bean trellis built today. I got seven stock panels, 16 footer by, I think it's 54 inch, 50 something inch. I got them, of course, been in 180 degrees and butted up to each other. 30 something feet of roll, basically. I usually plant about 35 foot rolls and just pull them over to it. As you can see, I got the furrow already dug. It's getting dark, getting late. Try and get done. But I hadn't made a video in a day or two, so I thought I would jump on this right quick. I'm thinking to plant two di different kinds of beans here. Last year I planted, uh, I don't remember what they are. I have to think on that in a minute. It was a Kentucky pole bean anyway. I'd have to look at the pack. I'm gonna plant it back on the east side of things, which is the other side I'm from on. I'm staying on the west side. On this side, I'm gonna plant some beans I tried a couple of years ago, about three years ago. It done really well here. Of course, I'm always experimenting, trying to find better, a better seed or a better plant that'll produce more. But three years ago, I planted, uh, they're called state half runner bush beans. They're actually not a bush bean. They grew pretty tall. They got to the top of this trellis. Half runners is what I started this trellis out with and done really well with it. That's what we're going back with. You step around here to the compost bin, I see what, the, what it says here. Kentucky Wonder pole bean. Okay, I couldn't remember what the other word was. I'm going to drop the seeds and cover it up and I'll bring the camera back. Well, you can probably see the pink seeds better, the dip seeds, coated. Got them pretty thick in there, they're older seeds. There's always a few that don't want to come up. This happens that way. So I dropped a few extras. I've been in the storage for a couple years, so I might have a small germination problem. Who knows? Might not. If I get too many, you can always pinch them off. Or pull them up, depending on where they're at. I like for them to be, you know, six inches apart when they're growing. They start vining, that usually fills out your trellis well. I can't wait to make the video of walking down through the trellis. I thought I'd show you I got the seeds. You probably can't see these brown ones. Kentucky Wonders are brown seeds, so they're hard to spot. But they're in there every few inches, too. Got a few extra of each one in case I just have a complete blank spot, which happens. It's, it's part of it. Not, not every seed will germinate. Sometimes two or three in a row won't. You can just push a couple more seeds down in and keep going. Well, I've got to get this done before it gets dark. I'm going to cover it with my garden hoe. Put just a little bit of dirt over the top. Probably sprinkle a little triple 15. Probably a little bit of lime. I noticed a little bit of lime seems to help. Last year it made all the difference in the beans. i got to get to work, so I'm glad you got to join me. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. If you don't mind, like the video. Help us out. We're a small channel trying to get somewhere. Y'all have a good day.